This week at Interior. Interior is shining a national spotlight on water sustainability this week following the World Water Day White House Summit. The Basin by Basin report points to the impacts of climate change and details adaptation strategies. Interior also released an online tool that lets the public visualize those impacts and adaptation options. Get the full story at doi.gov. The official dedication this week of one of the nation's newest national monuments. Secretary Jewell joined U.S. Forest Service Chief Tom Tidwell, top interior officials, members of Congress, and hundreds of community members to dedicate Berryessa Snow Mountain National Monument in California. President Obama set aside the area last July, some 330,000 acres. The secretary called that action a testament to the community's vision and dedication. The Secretary and Deputy Secretary Mike Connor also traveled to Harney County, Oregon this week, meeting with employees affected by the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge occupation. They also met with community and tribal leaders working together on management of public and private lands in the state. Eight million dollars in additional funding announced this week for Valle de Oro National Wildlife Refuge. Fish and Wildlife Director Dan Ash joined U.S. Senator Martin Heinrich for that announcement in Albuquerque. Funding will go to a program to engage urban communities and youth in conservation and outdoor recreation. The first step toward commercial wind energy development in federal waters off California. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management has finished its initial review of a request from Trident Winds. The company wants to place up to 100 wind turbines on floating foundations across nearly 68,000 acres off Morro Bay, together generating up to 800 megawatts of power. Boehm says the company is qualified to make that lease request. Up next, we'll see if a competitor steps forward. Find out more at Boehm.gov. The USGS and the European Space Agency have forged a new partnership. The collaboration allows USGS to store and redistribute data acquired by Europe's Copernicus program satellites. USGS says that data will weave together very effectively with information collected by USGS's Landsat program, creating remarkable economic and scientific benefits worldwide. That agreement comes on the heels of last year's accord with Mexico to share land surface satellite imagery for the benefit of effective land use planning and sustainability. And Washington, D.C.'s world-famous cherry blossoms hit their peak bloom this week. Hundreds of thousands of visitors turn out each year on the mall and around the Tidal Basin to view the 3,800 blossoming cherry trees, a gift to the United States from Japan in 1912. That's this week at Interior.